Hi, I'm Kate from Ashfords and today I would like to show you how easy it is to dye. Fibre and yarn that is. As you may know, we have our own woolen mill and as well as all the beautiful dyed Coradale and Merino and Silk Merino blends we make, I also get to make up delicious scrumptious white blends for all you fabulous fibre artists out there to dye. My favourite blend at the moment is this uh, Silk Merino Alpaca blend. Well, actually, maybe it's the Merino Tensil blend. Ashford wool dyes are perfect for dyeing all protein fibres. So that means you can dye wool, silk, alpaca, angora, mohair, cashmere, dog, cat, all protein fibres. Our dyes are non-toxic and they are acid exhaust dyes that are super easy to use. So the mordant that you use, or the only mordant that you need to use, um, the fixing agent, is white vinegar. Our dyes are bright, vibrant and colour fast and they're also very economical to use as a concentrate which means that the 10 grams of dye powder will make up enough dye to dye 1 kilogram of fibre or yarn or fabric. They are available in 12 colours but you really only need the primaries and black and then you can make up any colour you want from them. You can choose individual pots in 10 grams, 50 grams or 250 grams or we have various sets. So let me show you how easy our dyes are to use. You can use this technique on your fibre or on your knitting and weaving yarns. So wind your fibre off and make a nice little bump and then you're going to soak it in some warm water and put a drop of dish liquid into your water. This will act as a wetting agent which means the dye will cover the fibre more evenly. So let it soak for at least 30 minutes. While the fibre is soaking, I'll show you how to make up the dyes to the correct concentrate. You need some cold water, some white vinegar, a one litre plastic bottle to mix it in, some hot water just to dissolve the dye, a measuring cup and the dye powder. Put your rubber gloves on, take the one litre bottle, tip the dye stuff into the bottle, all of it, add enough hot water just to dissolve the dye stuff. Then we're going to add the vinegar. and then top up with cold water. So now you have one litre of your dye made up to the correct concentrate ready to use. So I have my three primary colours here that are at the full concentrate. From them I have made up some secondary colours. So I've used the blue and the red to make a violet. I've used the blue and yellow to make a green. And I've used the red and green to make an orange. So I don't want to use the bright full concentrate dyes today so I'm going to make up some paler colours and to do that I'm going to use my primary colours and some of the secondaries and I'm also going to add in some water. So I'm going to measure out some of the colours and just using these really cool syringes you can get them from the vets. So you need 8 millilitres of the magenta and then with that I'm going to add 60 ml of water. Next colour I want to make is a pale violet, so I'm going to use 8 ml of the violet that I made out of the red and the blue, and I'm going to put some water. So now we're ready to dye. First thing you want to do is put some glad wrap out and then you want to get your fibre and squeeze the water out of it and then lay your fibre out 
So now the fun starts. Take some colour and squeeze it on and squidge it down. I'm sure squidge is a word. When you put your next colour on, leave a little bit of a gap just till the end and then you can squidge the two colours together. squished it down so that it goes all the way through to the bottom layer and you can just check by lifting up okay, so we need to squidge that a little bit more so once it's all painted you just need to wrap it up in the glad wrap and then we're ready to put it in the microwave and the microwave that you're using for dyeing you probably want to um, not use it for your food. I recommend just getting a second hand one. So how long it will take in the microwave will depend on the microwave that you've got. Obviously all microwaves are different powers etc. So start it off just doing two minutes at a time and just check it after two minutes then put it on for another two minutes and then maybe just a minute at a time after that. Mine will probably take about six minutes to do. Okay all ready to go. So when you take it out of the microwave, be very careful because it will be very, very hot. Just leave it to cool down before you rinse it. So when it's cooled down enough to handle, you can open up the glad wrap and rinse it. So if when you rinse it, you get some dye come out in the water, either you put too much dye on, as in you put more than the 10 grams per kilogram, or you haven't exhausted it for long enough, or the other reason is maybe you didn't put the right amount of vinegar in. But it should run clear. and just go and hang it up to dry. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to dye your fibre and remember you can use the same technique for dyeing all of your knitting and weaving yarns as well. Um, for more info and more tutorials you can on dyeing you can visit our website and also to see the full range of fibres we have available visit our website and um, yeah apart from that happy dyeing! Fibre and yarn that is!